My name is Trey, and this is all the things that I've got over the past few years for photo and video. I'm gonna try to, off the top of my head, do realistic prices. This is something super attainable for just like your average hobby enthusiast person that wants to do like photos and videos and some other slightly higher end stuff, not anything crazy. I'm not blowing crazy checks like um, some of these people and YouTubers, they have a whole lot more money allocated for this stuff, but I'm your typical average person that does videos and pictures on the side and have been doing it for a few years. So um, let's get straight into it. Um, I'll start here. This is my um, first vintage lens. I only got this lens because it was a 2.8. Me getting into cameras, looking at YouTube and stuff, the lower the aperture or the, yeah, the aperture uh, is you get more light and more separation. So when I was looking on eBay and I saw this was a 2.8, I was like, yo, this is crazy. And I'm completely new into cameras at this point and I got it for maybe like $45. Uh, it's a 52 mil. Um, 1.8 auto wide angle um, by uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, Vitiar or whatnot. Um, but it's cool. I probably only use it very, very few times. Um, I should use it more. Um, this right here is a um. It's a battery pack. Basically, um, I can put it on my camera and put two batteries in there um, other than just one. Cause I shoot on uh, uh, APS-C camera. So anyone that shoots on Sony APS-C cameras know that the batteries go out super fast. So um, I was like, okay, what can I do? to get the batteries to last longer. Can't really do anything to get them to last longer, but you can buy this or more batteries. So you can just easily swap them out. This was like $50, um, just a battery pack by itself. Um, no extra batteries. I have this charger right here. It charges, it's just a regular battery charger. It charges two batteries at a time. I have like three batteries in total. Um, so nothing crazy. I don't know, this was probably like $30 or something like that. This right here is just a little um, like phone, phone rig that I have a little, it's a small rig little handle thing and then a phone holder by Joby or something like that. I don't know how much this, these two things together, I'd say 20, 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, basically put it on your camera and put your phone on it, have like a POV background stuff. I've used it a couple times. I'll go uh, my most expensive thing out of all the things that I've had. And of course I bought it initially for um, video editing and everything, but it turned out I, you know, I do a lot of things on it. But uh, my MacBook 16 inch, my MacBook Pro 16 inch. I got this in 2018 when it first came out. Basically in total, bro, this is a chunk of money. Big investment for me at the time. It's $2,400 which is crazy. Like knowing me, anyone that knows me, I don't like to spend money like that. And uh, 
I really wanted a computer because the computer I had at the time, man, like I would try to edit something using, I don't even know what kind of software I was using, but it was just bad. Like my, everything would crash. I would work like 30 minutes on something and it would just crash, just crash, crash. Also another thing, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all my videos and Lightroom for my pictures. Have a good day. And like, I think, yeah, I got, I had my camera for a little while and I'm like, okay, I need something. But this was during the pandemic. So I was like, or Best Buy stores did not have any. I originally wanted to get the Dell XPS, but this is the only thing that they had available that I really wanted to do. I think I had a couple hundred dollars saved up and I put it on and then I got a Best Buy credit card and whatnot. And basically around tax time, I, all of my taxes went to this computer, paid on it a little bit more. And then I think uh, I did another big chunk at some point getting money or whatever um, to pay this off. So that was a, a big stressor for me because $2,400 to the average person, many people is, is a lot of money. But I still have it, still works great. Um, my next uh, thing I have is a lens by Sony. It's a 1.8, uh, 50 mil by Sony for a APS-C. This was free 99 for a Christmas present, so it was very nice to have. I love the quality in this. It is relatively not crazy expensive, if any. It's not that expensive at all. Uh, from what the quality and everything you can get, it's like a really good must-have lens for your APS-C camera has optical stabilization, which is good because my camera doesn't have that. Yeah, I think it's probably around $250, something like that, um, but great lens to have. My next lens I have is the uh, Sigma 30 millimeter F1.4. And this is like my favorite lens. This is the lens I use the most on video, photo, basically everything. This is a workhorse of a lens for me at least. Um, relatively, I'm not sure how much they go for, maybe 300, 300 or so dollars for this lens, but it is super sharp. It's really good in low light. Um, and yeah, it's, I'm, let me stop trying to say it. That's something I'm working on. But it is a super, super good lens. And if you have any of the APS-C cameras, this is like the must get lens. Like it does everything. It's amazing. It doesn't have stabilization. So if your camera doesn't have stabilization, then you'll just have to be, you know, a little bit more careful for video and stuff like that, but it is amazing. Okay, so for my next thing, this is just a uh, SD card reader and it has a few other functions. With this MacBook, uh, it doesn't have any ports on it other than USB type C. So this just, you know, allows you to do ethernet, HDMI, USB, Type-C, and then SD and micro SD. I've had this since I had this computer. It's never necessarily failed me. One of the ports on here are funny though. They don't, it doesn't work all the time or whatnot, but it does what I needed to do. I think I paid like $50 for this, something like that. Nothing crazy. My next thing, I have is my SD card case. 
This right here I've had since the beginning as well, but I'm trying not to, or at the time I thought to get cheaper SD cards and I can have more rather than having one big one. And if something happens to it or it fails or whatnot, I would have more options. So I try to, I use one main one, the one I'm using now, it's like 128 gigs, but I have a bunch of other ones that are 32, 64. So like if something ever happened to one, uh, at least I wouldn't lose everything. One thing that I do want to get is a SSD. I've been shooting videos and pictures and stuff for so long and I don't even have an external hard drive, which is crazy to me. Um, but actually I do have one, but it just didn't work. My friend gave it to me, which I appreciated, but it just doesn't work anymore. But these SD cards range from 30 to, no, I'd say 25 to $40. And I've got um, a few in here. I do have, the next one is an ND filter for my lenses. So I have two variable NDs. I think they were both like $50 each. I think one was gifted to me. Um, but yeah, they're they're great. Um, I have, I'm using one right now and I always have one on there um, because in my experiences, it just helps with colors, um, depth of fill, and just makes it easier color grading after. So I'll go here next. I have two, I have two like small camera bags. This one I used to use a good bit when I first started out. And then this one is my wife's uh, that I don't use. I just have it. I should just give it away or like Find someone who wants it, if you want it. I'll give you this one, not this one. Eh, I don't know, who, who, who knows? My next, I got this book backpack right here. Oh, I don't know how much those are, but this backpack, I think I got it for like $40 on Amazon or something like that. Um, I've had it since the beginning as well. Another thing that I have for my lenses that I bought um, are the step-up rings. So both of my ND filters are, I'm not sure what millimeter they are, but um, I got step-up rings so you can um, screw it on to, uh, screw it on to the camera lens and then you can screw the indie filter onto that. I got a pack of like three of those and I think they were like, a pack of like four and they were like $30 or so, I think. My next, I have a mouse for my computer. I think this is maybe $30, Not nothing crazy expensive either. This right here, I bought and I very, very rarely use it ever. It is like, basically it's a tripod, but it's only one. So it's a monopod. Basically when you hold cameras, like the people that vlog themselves, but it's just, they use it in sports and stuff. You don't want to put your camera down. Um, I use it very, Rarely, I, I have no idea how much this even is. I'd say maybe $30 or so. The next thing I have, which which was another big purchase to me, was this gimbal. This is the um, Weeble S by Zion. 
and I think this was like $300 or something like that. And I use it a good bit. It does very well. It does exactly what I need it to do. And uh, yeah, you put your camera on there and it's stabilized. You can move it all around and it's pretty good. Uh, other than that, I have this light, light bar that I've got that I don't use that much. I don't even have the battery in it and I don't even know where the battery is at this point right now. It's probably upstairs in my drawer. Yeah, I think this was close to $200 because I wanted something, because I do videos at night sometimes, or at least I did for some music videos or whatnot. And I just needed some more light. And all the other things that I have are what I'm using to film this right now. So I have one of the variable ND filters on there. And then I have a 16 mil, 16 millimeter F1.4 by Sigma. I think that lens or this lens that I'm shooting on maybe close to $350 too. Um, and then for audio, it has a mic, it's a Rode Micro. I think that's like 50 or $60. It comes with the mic itself, little uh, fur thing for wind. And it's sitting on a Manfrotto tripod that I got and the tripod was probably like mm, I want to say $80 or $90 which like all this camera equipment is steep like at points of me buying this is trying to maximize all the things all the things that i have here or that i've said so far i've had for years i haven't bought anything for a long time and i just try to spend as little as possible but get everything and maximize it for things that i can do and i'm shooting on a sony 6400 at the time i got it was like it was it was like a thousand dollars um yeah no it, no it was like it was like nine hundred dollars and then i have a small rig cage around it to put attachments or whatnot on it small rig cage maybe fifty dollars and that's about it. Um, my next camera I want to get is probably, realistically, the Sony A6700 or the FX30. Um, those are the two cameras I've been juggling, trying to think about getting at some point, but as you can see, I haven't bought anything in a while. But I do like what I have. It, I can do most of the things that um, I want to do with these things. But yeah, that's a realistic expectation of your average person over the past few years to do different videos and photo shoots and stuff like that and what you can accomplish. But if you have, you know, a dream to do these things and have different aspirations. Look, it, you don't need the top of the line thing, you know, start from where you are and then, you know, work your way up to what you think you need. Because in my head, when I got this camera, I didn't even know basically everything it could do. And it could do so many amazing things. And when I started, 
actually using it as a professional camera, I'm like, wow, like, I didn't need a full frame camera or, um, or this or that or all these different things um, because these cameras that we use have thousands of features, but you know, do you really use it all? I'm not sure, but I tried to make sure I know literally everything, the ins and outs of this camera, which I think I've done a pretty good job at. Um, that's the last time I'm saying, um, but yeah, that, that's, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching the video and, uh, I'll put a grand total up on the screen and to the next one, peace. Oh, and by the way, these glasses are not real glasses. They are blue light glasses, but I want to get some clear glasses. So I'm wearing these for a little bit to see if I can pull them off. You let me know if I can pull them off or not. I don't know. It been hard to refrain, but I gotta. I've been clean for a while, wipe me down.